What's good, everybody? Welcome to Forever Finesse and TV. I'm up quite early today, you know, uh, so I would say good morning, but I'm pretty sure you probably get this video in the afternoon, but w whatever the case may be. Today's effect is going to be the big head effect. It is like a very dope effect used for music videos and use it for whatever you want, pretty much. Now, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And right after this intro, I'll show you the preview and we jump straight into After Effects. Let's get it. Okay, we got our footage opened up in After Effects. Now, um, as you can see, I got my footage here. Let me see. Let's get it the load, the render through. Okay, cool. That looks good. So the first thing, there's like two ways you can do this if you're like doing it in a single frame you could just simply just create a mask over over your face and whatnot but if you're going to be making mad different faces and a lot of movement going around you would usually do the rotoscope and to, to do the roto brush you just uh click this double click your footage make sure your roto brush is highlighted and just create a mask like this with your preview bar open frame by frame you just do this you know let me just give you a quick rough draft example like this pretty much my face but you're gonna do it better get your entire head the only reason i didn't really do it for this because i wasn't really paying attention too much because when i did my recording there's so many trees and I, I really hate trees when you're doing rotoscoping and plus i was recording by myself so it was kind of hard for me to get a, a clear visual of my face so i'm not gonna do the roto brush thing so we're gonna click here remove the roto brush so but that's how you do so roto brush is the way for you to go when you're doing different facial expressions and everything or as a whole but the, for the preview i used I, I just masked my face out so this is how you do you create a mask press g well we're going to zoom in a bit press h for your hand tool to drag go back to g for your uh and zoom in one more time okay so we're just gonna do this real quick and like just create a smooth mask around my face if, if i feel like i'm gonna fast forward this part anyway so you guys will be good cool that's done so now that you created a mask with the what you're gonna do is uh, highlight this press command d on the mac to duplicate it then go back to your first footage at the, with the footage at the bottom highlight the mask and just delete it and then the next thing you're gonna do is highlight this oh yeah so whatever your um file is named as i put it as og as original footage so you know this original footage too this is going to be the background this is going to be the big head effect so um i highlight the regular og footage we're going to go over to tracker let's zoom in a bit and click track motion and you know we're just going to expand it a bit and i just put it like right here like by my chin ish and start the frame from the, the very beginning and we just track for it i only got like i, th I don't know a couple frames so this should run by real fast wait for it wait for it. okay cool done the next thing you do is create a new null object and make sure it's in between and highlight your null edit target click no four okay and scroll down so you can see click apply x and y dimensions okay that should be done now go back to the first frame now and you highlight your og2 i'm gonna just rename that oh i'm sorry i press i'm gonna just rename this to uh big head effect uh, cool and now what you're going to do is let me put this back at fit we're going to press s for scale and just scale the head up a size you know i'll say about 160 let's do 160. And just move it just about there and grab this whip tool and parent it to the null and it should just fold pretty smooth i mean you could do some feathering on the mask feather open that up let's do about 10 just to make it kind of look a little bit better all right 10 seems too rough let's go seven 
Okay. But this is kind of how you do it, you know, just take your time and adjust to what, what works for you. Press S for scale again, let's do 165. And just put it, so it looks about cool, let me see. But yeah, I didn't really do the mask too well. Because, you know, it's just a story just for me to show you how it's kind of done. But take your time when you're making your mask and everything should go good you know don't 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 try to rush it too fast but that's pretty real quick and simple how you do the uh big head effect i always prefer the rotoscoping because you can make different faces but make sure you have a very very clear background and you got a clear uh footage of your face so that's all i got for today uh if you're new to the channel like comment subscribe for finessing tv